Hi, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was recently put to me by a user of GoLive, Adobe GoLive. If you're not familiar with GoLive, it's a web design software put out by Adobe Systems. So the question was, will Dreamweaver be able to read my GoLive files? The short answer to this question is, of course. And the reason the answer is, of course, is because GoLive is just writing HTML and CSS pages, as is Dreamweaver, as is any other web design software out there. People who are WYSIWYG users, what you see is what you get programs, users, things like GoLive and FrontPage and um, Dreamweaver, of course. Some of them don't understand the code behind the web pages, so they assume wrongly that a file produced by GoLive or Dreamweaver, an HTML file or a CSS document or whatnot, is somehow some sort of proprietary uh, file type. Like if you produce a file in Microsoft Word or if you produce a Photoshop document. Web pages are an open format or a plain text format. What that means is that web pages are just built using text code. And all that Go Live, Dreamweaver, Front Page, or any other web design software does for you, all it does is it automates the process of writing the code. As you point and click, in the background, these programs are just writing the code to the pages. That's why it's important, and I always tell people who are new to web design, that you understand the code behind the pages. If you don't, you're going to be severely restricted you're going to have uh, uh, many more frustrating days because though these programs are very powerful and I, I you know, whether it be Dreamweaver Expression, Web Expression, uh, Go Live, whatever, they're very powerful and capable but they don't do everything perfectly and there are times when you just need to be able to go in there and make changes to code. That's clear. Another thing I want to point out is that if you don't understand code, you're going to be very limited in terms of your ability to structure your pages and your websites properly because if you don't understand code you're not going to understand some of the subtle aspects of web design and web pages and these subtleties are important in terms of creating websites that are easy to update websites that are SEO search engine optimized or search engine friendly and websites that, um, that are easy to adapt. This is important and the difference between a professional web designer and some kid playing with uh, Dreamweaver or front page is that basic understanding of those structures and oftentimes the difference between a successful website on the web versus a non-successful website is an understanding of these subtleties. So I highly suggest if you're a Go Live user, a Dreamweaver user, or a front page user, or whatever, if you're f hazy on the code, if you're not quite sure about how all this stuff works, you should really learn this stuff. And again, KillerSites.com, we've got plenty of stuff there for you to learn. And at the end of the day, what you're going to discover, it's really not that difficult if the basics are taught to you properly.